Okay, first thing we'll talk about is with his stance. There's nobody on base, so he's given a sign. Now he's going to set up to receive. When he sets up to receive the pitch, it's going to be in a comfortable position. Uh, you can see that his elbow is going to be even with his glove, okay, and he's got a nice little bend in his arm. That bend is going to allow him to receive a lot of pitches and be a lot quicker. We don't want that arm extended. Once that arm gets extended, we get slower, and now we're going to catch the ball with the, with the palm of our hand. So we want to have a good bend in there. Now he's got good flexibility. He can get his thumb underneath that ball, and he's going to be able to funnel everything up into his chest. His bare hand, he's going to allow to sit just right behind his leg. You can put it behind your back or right behind your shin just so that hand is out of the flight of the ball and allows it to be protected. Same thing he's going to be able to do here now is he's going to be able to kind of sway a little bit as far as what he's framing. The pitch comes inside, he can sway over and try to keep that ball inside of his knees. Ball comes outside, he can keep that ball inside of his knees. Okay, the last point of emphasis you can see with his elbow is his elbow is going to stay outside of his knee. We don't want his elbow to come inside of his knee for a couple reasons. One, once it comes in, it limits our range coming inside pitch, so it can keep, that, uh, keep us from catching that ball. It can also cause us to injure our elbow by allowing it to hammer off of our knee. So we keep that bend in our arm, and we keep our, our elbow outside of our knee. Uh, our elbow should never come inside of our knee when we're trying to receive a ball for a strike. Catching the ball, pulling it up. Just a nice little pull. That's going to keep the ball in the zone. Uh, it's going to keep him from pushing the ball down because what you'll see a lot of young catchers do, if you push it down for me, Austin, what a lot of young catchers do with the ball down, they'll push it down just like that. His hand will go down, and he pushes the ball out of the strike zone. So we want to keep that low strike a strike. So you can see how he slightly just pulls the ball up to his chest, kind of like a funnel. This way he's learning how to be soft. He's catching with his fingertips. Funneling everything up to his chest. You can see how he sways a little bit on his ankles, trying to keep that ball inside of his chest. Remember, we're not deceiving the umpire. We're just letting him know that that ball is a strike. And as little movement that I can do to keep the ball there inside my body, uh, the better chance I'm going to be able to have to keep that ball a strike. Now the pitch we're going to work on the most is going to be that pitch low and inside to a righty, right at his left shin. Uh, if you're looking at the screen, you're right. Uh, that pitch down and in is the most difficult one to keep as a strike because a lot of guys want to try to push it out of the zone. So the big thing he has to do is get out early with his thumb down and pick that ball. So we really want to focus on you know, the more difficult pitches. A lot of guys can catch the ball right down the middle, but we want to keep that ball inside a strike. So we're going to funnel it right inside there. You see how he gets his hand underneath that ball. Those are tough pitches. We're making those things strikes right there. You can see he's not framing. He's not turning his glove in. He's just simply funneling the ball to his chest. So we want to work the ball down there as much as we can. I'm talking about the funneling and not framing. You'll see a lot of guys when they frame pitches. They frame here, they frame here, they frame here. They do that type of stuff. One, the umpire knows you're trying to trick him. It doesn't keep ball strikes. So we want to just try to funnel, funnel. So we imagine that we're funneling everything into the middle part of our body. If the ball's down, I funnel it up. If the ball's up, I funnel it down a little bit. And it's really just small, little, maybe an inch or so movement. I'm going to funnel everything in the middle. So you'll see Austin kind of doing it again here uh, without the glove. Just pulling everything up to his chest. Nice and easy. Now we're keeping those balls right there. Strikes. We're not pushing our glove into the dirt. It's a tough pitch. Good. Now this allows us to get a lot of reps in. Good quality reps. It allows the catcher to understand what we're talking about. He can work on framing. He can work on swaying. We don't need to use our mask here because I'm just flipping underhand. <laughs> 